Hi, I'm Shane Satterfield, and I'm here today to talk to you about NHL Hits 2002 for the GameCube. This is the third version to be released this year. The first one came out for the PlayStation 2, the second came out for the Xbox, and now this is the final one for the GameCube. If you're not familiar with the game, it's, um, it's very similar to Midway's NBA Jam series that you may remember. Except, of course, this is a hockey game, but you still you are playing three on three. Um, it's definitely exaggerated as far as the checks. You can check players through the boards. You can uh, knock their helmets off. Also, players can catch on fire after they've scored three consecutive goals. And in addition to the series is that the whole team can catch on fire if you score on three consecutive one-timers. There's a nice uh, selection of gameplay modes in the game. You can play exhibition for up to uh, four different players, so you and your friends can square off whenever you, uh, you got some downtime. Um, there's a season mode that asks you, to, asks you to play all 38 NHL teams in succession and try to beat them all. And then there's the franchise mode where you actually create your own team and then you try to take on uh, all 30 NHL teams with your created team and you try to make it to the Midway Cup. There's also a skills mode that you can use to uh, sharpen up your skills a little bit and you can also win points by doing that. And the points are tied into all the modes in that after you finish a game, if you win a game, you're awarded points. Um, those points can then be used to uh, buy things like exaggerated ranks like alien ranks or there are some ranks that are out in the desert and things like that and those are actually some of the cooler parts of the game. As far as the graphics are concerned, um, NHL Hits 2002 for the GameCube is pretty much right on par with the Xbox version. The player models aren't especially detailed but they look, they look adequate enough, they're modeled well. The only problem I would say is that the uh, player faces don't look too accurate, they don't look too close to the real world counterparts. As far as um, special effects are concerned, there's some nice particle effects that are used for when your players are on fire and there's smoke coming off of them. And there's nice reflections in the ice, there's also some real time lighting that's used whenever your players catch on fire and you can actually see that along the boards as you skate along them. Another cool thing about the graphics is its speed. Um, while it's not as fast as some of the older Midway hockey games like um, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, it still plays with a nice fluidity and the GameCube version runs with a nice frame rate similar to the Xbox version. On the whole, I would say that uh, NHL Hits is a good game, it's fun, but the fun tends to dwindle off after a couple days of play. However, if you're a GameCube owner, the value of this game is a little more significant than if you were to buy, say, the Xbox or PlayStation 2 versions, simply because it's the only hockey game on the console. Um, if you don't know already, EA's NHL series will not be coming to the GameCube this year. So if you're a Pucks fan and you're, you'd like to pick up something for your GameCube, this is going to be the only choice in town. So for those who are just casual hockey fans, um, I would probably recommend renting this game first and giving it a few days and see if you like it. And for the serious hockey fan, I would probably have to say that you could give it a rent, but you probably wouldn't end up wanting to buy it in the end because you're not going to really have another hockey game to play on the GameCube for quite a while.